guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana <clears throat> with another PSA grade reveal. I think, oh God, I don't even know how many. I have no idea how many. Uh, mostly basketball, mostly 90s. I think there's a little bit of soccer in here. Uh, I know the grades. I'm going to start with the worst first, okay? You guys know me. I go kind of quick, so I'm not going to belabor this. Uh, the first thing I'm going to start with, I think I sent... Um, 10 of these Shaquille O'Neal 1995 flare anticipation and look how many of them came back men's size one two three four five six which pisses me off that really makes me mad I sent 10 of them <clears throat> I was hoping to get two PSA 10s maybe one I ended up getting none spoiler alert you'll see the ones that actually got graded I think four got graded or maybe I sent 11 but four got graded. Six of them got men's size, which I think is ridiculous. I, I guarantee you, and I might just do it for pride purposes. If I send these back in, I promise you they'll grade these. It's just I got a really bad grader on a really bad day, and you guys are about to see what I am talking about. So we'll put those men's size up there. I did get one more miscut, whatever that means. This is a... Uh, 2014 Prism World Cup autograph card. Of course, these uh, this is the set that I'm trying to collect. Miscut. I don't know why it's miscut. It's not off center. Um, it's actually in really, really good condition uh, for this particular set. These are very difficult to grade. I thought this had a chance for a 9 or 10. Again, I'm going to send this one back in, and I promise you they're going to grade it the second time around. I don't know what the deal is. So uh, that's the worst of the worst. And um, the only thing worse than a bad grade is no grade. <laughs> because you're kind of like right back where you started. All right, so I'm not going in any particular order, so this is going to have some weird stuff in here. I'm just warning you, uh, stuff that's not particularly mine. This is not my car. This is a good friend of mine here in town uh, who lives in the same neighborhood as me. He wanted me to regrade this. This got sent in. This is a great example. It's funny. This is the first card we look at. This messy card was first sent in, and uh, they refused to grade it. They couldn't guarantee the authenticity of the autograph which I told him that makes no sense at all. I said, send it back in. Don't grade the auto. Just grade the damn card. And it graded a, a, a PSA 9, which is really cool. And so uh, I actually got upcharged on this one. So my buddy PayPal'd me a few bucks as well. It's a little bit off center left to right, as you can see. But damn, it's a really good looking card. And any messy autograph and a PSA 9 slab is awesome. So uh, this is the Ageless Alchemy from 2021 Merlin. My buddy's a big uh, Merlin collector. Another card that's not mine, certainly, because you know I don't collect baseball, Ron Sandberg and Greg Maddox, sort of an interesting little mix here. Most people remember Maddox from his years on those dominant Braves teams, but he was a Cub before that. This is 2022, Topps Definitive, Maddox Sandberg. This one got a PSA 9 as well. No grade for the autograph. This is a, a different friend of mine, not my card, a different friend of mine sent that one in. Uh, now we got one of my cards. Uh, here's one of the anticipations, PSA 9, Shaq. All of these cards looked so freaking good. This is where you can usually see the wear is edge wear and corner wear on the back because it's so dark purple. Um, usually you can't hide it. And I thought all of these had a chance at 9 or 10. This is one of the ones that came back a 9. So six of them, as you saw, were miscut. That one comes back uh, a PSA 9. And then uh, let's just go this order here. So I see... Here are here are the other ones. So I must have sent in eleven because I got five of these. So one nine, one eight, another eight, another nine, and then another eight. So uh, three eights, two nines. Did I say that right? Yeah, three eights, two nines, and six miscut. So uh, a swing and a miss there. I bought those in a lot, and when I got them in from eBay, I was thrilled because they all look so good. Uh, so on from some babies to some damn monsters. I got an Olden Polonese and a Cedric Ceballos or Ceballos, uh, PMG Red, 1997. Uh, you know, six or five, six, seven is kind of the expected grade for these. The Sabalos looks really good. I uh, thought it might have had a chance at a seven. The Polonese, you can see some edge wear on the top. Again, centering's tough on these because they're borderless. Um, cards look really good. PSA six is always a win. Card 60 out of 100, card 26 out of 100. Uh, I don't think either one of those are jersey numbers. No, they're not. These are also not my cards. Remember, I've got a video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. My buddy is collecting the PMG Red Set. I sent these in for him, and uh, he's going to be thrilled. You know, His goal is just to get a numerical grade. And so the fact that they came back with actual numbers instead of just authentic is always a win. And so he'll be thrilled about those two cards for sure. 
and then I'm just pulling stuff at random here, guys, in a random order. Uh, I did send this in. I have no idea why I got a PSA 6. I know it wasn't a PSA 10, but I was not expecting a PSA 6. This is a 97 Planet Metal Steph Marbury. I thought maybe if I could get an 8 or a 9, maybe a set collector would pick it up. I mean, the back edge and corners is where you see most of the wear and tear, and this one looked so good. I thought it had a chance at a 9. I must have missed something on the surface that's absolutely drastic. I don't see it. Maybe y'all see it. PSA 6. So I don't know what to do with cards like that. I, I literally, like, I have no idea what to do with that card. PSA 7 on the Elijah one sent this one in as well. So maybe I'll put both those on eBay and try to get my money back, sell it for 20 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever. Uh, damn, I wish I'd have gotten a 10 on this because you guys know I'm, I've got a couple of other fireworks, gold, prism, Lillards. Uh, bought this one raw, sent it in, thought it had a chance. It's uh, card number one out of 10. I guess you can't be too upset with a nine. Um, but, uh, you know, tens are kind of what I'm looking for on those golds, but, uh, but this one goes in the PC. So I'm going to put this one, that one goes in the PC, everything else that you've seen, uh, that's mine. I think everything that you see, I'll tell you if it's for sale or if it's not, uh, the only 10, I think that I personally got, if I'm not mistaken, is this one right here. And I just found this in a dollar box. Like, uh, it, well, I shouldn't say that I didn't find it in a dollar box. That was a very mis, uh, sorry, I misspoke. I found it in uh, one of my boxes where I must have ripped a retail blaster or something like that and pulled this card somehow and it was just sitting there and I was like damn Tyrese is a really good player it's an autograph and it's from Revolution and it looked really clean I was like well I'll just try to grade it and sell it so this card's for sale it's card number 32 it's serial number to 100 it's a fractal it's 2020 Revolution this is his rookie you know it's obviously got the rookie shield and horizontal it is a sticker auto but uh PSA 10. So this Tyrese Maxi's for sale. We'll see what the Sixers can do uh, in the playoffs. And then uh, more soccer. Uh, another addition to the set, the Gigi Buffon. Uh, this is the PSA 8. I needed a, I'm collecting it in 10 if I can, but I'll also take 8s and 9s in PSA. And um, so PSA 8, I really thought this one had a chance at a 9 as well. Again, on these cards, it's always the top two corners. I don't know why, but these top two corners and edges, like on that dark blue area or darker blue area, are always the issue. And this is not great, but uh, this could have got a 9. Eight, 8's pretty harsh on that one. But this one goes PC because it's a uh, part of my set. And that's the only Buffon that I have. Of course, the great Italian keeper that played for like three decades, probably more than three decades. Um, I found this just in one of my old white boxes from when I collected uh, during my second tenure from around 1998 through 2004. I don't know what or where I was ripping football, but apparently I like Topps Chrome so much that I uh, crossed over sports and I pulled this far. Uh, I thought if it had a chance for a 10, it might be worth something, but it'll be for sale. Uh, again, not a very valuable card. More uh, 2014 Prism signatures. Uh, happy to add this Klinsman. I got a nine here, and nine's kind of a win on these cards. These are really tough. PSA 10s are crazy low pop, so nine's kind of the standard. Eight's a little bit low standard, so that one goes into the vault because I need it. Uh, 2021 Iron uh, Game of Thrones. This is the Iron Anniversary. Um, I don't know. I got to talk too much about this. PSA 8. PSA 8 is about average on these. These are paper cards. They're all on card autos. So these actors all handled them and signed them. But uh, this is Randall Tarley, who was kind of a real asshole in the movie. Like, uh, just the absolute, the worst father you could possibly imagine. Uh, so that one will be for sale for some, uh, some fellow uh, Game of Thrones nerd. Uh, who uh, wants to collect that uh, here? You know, this is another one of mine. It's a second year Darius Garland red and it was um, You know, it's kind of a color match and I knew it looked good And I think I pulled this actually pulled this out of a you know One of the rare prism boxes that I actually busted it's card. Uh, it's number 299 You know the reds are number 299 in prism. So uh, that'll be for sale Darius Garland the Cavs are in trouble man Cavs are in trouble the Knicks are giving them the business um, Another one of my favorite sets you guys know how much I care about the 2012 prism set This is the green MVP Wilt PSA 9, that'll be for sale. Really good looking card. Thought it had a chance at a 10. You know, usually you see scratch marks on that sheer silver portion. And uh, you can actually see there might be some down here in the bottom right. I don't know. It's just impossible to show you guys these things. I mean, 
I don't know. I don't know how to make the light any better, but uh, just a cool looking car. This MVP uh, insert set, I'm collecting it in uh, silver PSA 10, but that one's a green, a green downtown bound KD right here. Uh, Sun's got a big win over the uh, Clippers in game three. It sounds like Kawhi's going to be out for a bit. Really surprised here because this one looked good. This is a, a raw uh, 2014 Select Silver uh, that I bought uh, with one of those MBA stickers off of PWCC. It came back a PSA 8. So, uh, again, if it had come back a 10, I'd probably keep it in my Lillard collection. But since it came back an 8, it goes in my for sale stack. Uh, next is another Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. I think this is a young Ned Stark. Yeah, young Ned Stark. Uh, PSA 9, pretty good grade. That card's for sale. Another young Ned Stark. This one doesn't say winter is coming. It says saved by Halbrid Reed. Um, PSA 9. So, probably maybe put those in a pairing and try to sell them together. I don't know. Um, this kid unjustly hanged. Um, I don't remember this kid. I thought he was the guy. Oh, that's Ollie. Yeah. So he kind of turned on Jon Snow up at, um, at Castle Black. So PSA eight for that one for sale. Another Game of Thrones, Thomas Brody, um, and just a GOT inscription at the bottom. PSA nine, pretty good grade on that. Don't ask. I have no idea. I picked up one of these Metal Universe, uh, Skybox Metal Universe boxes. It's hockey. And I picked it up at a, at a, like a local Target just because I had the itch. And this one looked really good, and it was color match. And I know Austin Matthews is a good hockey player, so I don't know much about hockey, but I know Austin Matthews is good. This is not a valuable card, so this will be for sale probably. Try to put it for, you know, 20 bucks or something like that and see if I can get it. Van Persie, PSA 9, awesome. This one goes in the – actually, you know what? I think this one's going to be for sale. In fact, I know it is because I just picked up the PSA 9 Van Persie. I paid a pretty penny for the PSA – I'm sorry, for the PSA 10. So I have the PSA 10 – if you're a soccer collector and you happen to be watching the channel, this Van Persie PSA 9 will be for sale. I'll put that in the for sale stack. I'm almost positive. I'll put it up there just to be sure, but I think I picked up the PSA 10. Uh, orange fluorescent, messy. Uh, mosaic FIFA Road to the World Cup, PSA 9 here. PSA 9 for that card. I was hoping for a 10. I don't think those are serial numbered. No, those aren't serial numbered. Serial, yeah. Uh, I've got about 10 more guys, 10 more. Let's pull them out. Um, crushed on this. Not sure why. Um, centering is really good for this set. Uh, the top and top right and bottom left corners are not perfect. It's hard for me to show you guys, but you can, uh, let me try to see if I can get in there. So not perfect on those corners. Um, it's still even, there you go. You can kind of see that one. That one ain't perfect. I was expecting an eight. Uh, which an 87 Fleer Olajuwon PSA 8 is probably still grade worthy. Um, a PSA 6 is not good. <laughs> so for sale, whoever wants it, if anybody wants to pick up a cheap Olajuwon, um, it is for sale. Another Tyrese Maxey. This is his Revolution rookie card, Groove PSA 9. That card will be for sale. Not a valuable card right there. I love Revolution, but most people don't. So um, not bad on this meltdown. An 8, PSA 8. You guys know what I collect. I collect PSA 8s. And so uh, 95 Skybox Premium Jordan meltdown. I can't remember what happened. Uh, oh, I picked. That's right. That's right. I bought this card. Um, I think it was a BGS 9. And I bought it at a card show in New Orleans. And I, or maybe it was an 8.5, but I cracked it hoping to get an 8 because you guys know I collect Jordan and PSA 8. So this one goes in the PC for sure. Good looking 8, really good looking 8 here. So happy about that one. I'm pretty sure I cracked a BGS 9 or a BGS 8.5. I can't remember and got that. Uh, PSA 8, really surprised on this. I picked this one up raw at one of those card shows in a dollar box uh, for a couple bucks. And uh, just this year, Scoring Kings is just tough to grade. It's just dark corners, dark edges. PSA 8 for this Grant Hill. That one's for sale for anybody interested. It's the Hot Packs parallel. As you guys are familiar, you know, you see that Hot pack stamp down here in the bottom left. Uh, so that uh, makes it a Hot Pack parallel. Uh, missed on this one. I already own the PSA 10. I'm almost certain. I'm going to put it in my PC stack just to be safe. But I'm pretty sure I own the PSA 10 of this card already. So a PSA 9. Uh, Lillard will be for sale. I'll probably offer that in my Lillard group uh, before I make it public. Gold Shimmer, these are serial number to 10, card number 1 out of 10. Uh, this one I will hang on to, and I will keep this one, um, even though it is a PSA 9. Uh, what did I do with that fireworks? Did I put it in the right stack? Did I put it in the right stack? I think, oh yeah, I put it up there. Okay, cool. 
Uh, oh, I was so close on this. This is a super low pop in PSA 10, and I knew it looked great. I knew it had a chance. Uh, Akeem the Dream, Elijah This card will still make me a few bucks because I didn't pay much for the raw version. Uh, came back a PSA 9, which is a really, really good grade. If you don't believe me, go look at the pop reports. Uh, this is the 1993 Fleer Living Legends. The Jordan PSA 10 in this is a four-figure card. Uh, PSA 9 sell really well. PSA 8 and 7s are kind of the most common grades. PSA 9, I missed on this. I need the 10 for my set. This one came back a 9. I'm probably going to hang on to this as a gap filler because I don't know if I'm going to be able to put that damn set, that uh, 2012 Prism MVP silver set together in a PSA 10. So I'm probably going to hang on to this 9 uh, and start doing some gap filling. Uh, so I'll put that in the PC stack. Uh, picked this up super cheap on PWCC Weekly. It was an NBA. Thought it had a chance at a 10. Came back a 9. So it's a swing and a miss. That one's for sale. Who knows where he's going. He may not even be in Toronto next year. Focus Pocus Vince. I thought it had a chance. Uh, apparently not. Came back a PSA 8. Just a great looking card. Kind of refractor-like qualities, but it's not. But that foil kind of makes it refractory. I just think it's an awesome card. Uh, really would have been a little happier with a, with a 9, but came back a... An eight, another MVP, and this one did hit. So the MVP Nash Green, this one will sell really well. I'm not going to be in a hurry on this to give it away. Uh, great looking card. I wish there were more Nash collectors, but there's not. Ironically, it's Nash with uh, Nowitzki as an opponent. Of course, they were teammates and best friends down in Dallas pre-trade. But uh, Nash Green, I don't know what the pop is, but I bet it's, well, I don't want to guess, but I bet it's less than five for sure. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's definitely less than five, but I have to go look. Somebody call me out if I'm wrong. So that is going to go, um, that's for sale, but it's going to be one of those buy it nows where I got to be patient. Um, honestly, I'm pissed. Like I picked this up in a dollar box in, um, I think in New Orleans as well, if I recall, and I was hoping for an eight, it came back a nine. So that one's for sale. Same thing with this one, a question of sport. Actually, I bought this off PWCC Raw, hoping to get an eight to put into my collection, came back a nine. So I'll sell it. I'll do well financially, but I'd rather just have the eight for my collection on both those cards, but I missed. And then uh, you saw the Kevin Durant Downtown Green Prism 9. Here's a Ray Allen Color Match Downtown Green Prism 9. Uh, so just really tough to grade these, really tough to get 10s. So uh, that's it. As you guys saw, not very many 10s at all. Uh, very, very few 10s out there. So that's kind of... That's it, guys. Uh, nothing really crazy special. Again, some PMG Reds were awesome, but those weren't mine. This messy autograph, awesome, but that's not mine. Most of my stuff here is for sale. Anything you saw that I said is for sale is for sale. And then the stuff I'm going to keep in my PC is right here. Uh, the Prism Silver placeholder, the Gold Dane. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be for sale because I'm almost certain I have the 10. Uh, so I'm going to put that to the side. PC, big time pickup here. Happy with the uh, result. Uh, set collector, set collector, set collector, and then uh, PC, uh, another Lillard for the PC. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I've got another order that just hit uh, that I'll share with you in a couple days after this one. Uh, so uh, keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And peace.